All right, I got my coffee here, uh, about to enjoy it. All right, I promised a video on what's tokenization of assets, because that's a lot of people are not from this world and they don't feel bad if you don't understand it. I mean, that's just how it is. How many things don't I not know because I'm not from that world or industry or you know educational background, but that's normal. That's why we're here to learn, right? So let me give you an example of what tokenization is and why it's important to the crypto space, XRP, XLM, XDC. Okay. When you think tokenization, I keep thinking of token, you're like, what does that all mean? It's real simple. Tokenization of assets. Think about, let's say, for example, Let's say coffee, let's say gold, let's say oil, let's say land, real estate. Okay, all of that is summed up or valued in a contract. So let's say, for example, you're gonna go buy a car. A car has a, has a title, real estate has a deed. Um, pallets of, you know, commodities, you know, they have, uh, when they sell it to this contract, so, you know, like, you know, paperwork of ownership. Okay, so that's the asset, okay? The paper attached to the asset. So if I want to take 100 pounds of gold and sell it, I have to first create some type of like, uh, if you would, um, a contract that states, this is a pallet of 100 pounds of gold that originated from yada, yada, yada with a value of this. Now, how do you in Chicago, how do you in Idaho, uh, Idaho, uh, Ohio, Florida, Toronto, the Philippines, how do you buy it if that gold, let's say, for example, is in Argentina? You can go through the traditional routes and contacting and back and forth and sending the money and being at risk and not knowing the parties on the other side. You can do all that nonsense. It's horrible. It's time consuming and there's a lot of risk. Or you can go with a company that has tokenized that contract tied to that asset. Now, here's where you understand what tokenization is. It is nothing more than a a web address on the blockchain, the ledger, it's a, it's a web address to that asset. So instead of it just being a pallet with 100 pounds of gold, it now has a token address that is sourced to that pallet. Do you understand? Tokenization, all it is, is putting a address, a blockchain ledger address to that asset. So I'll give you an example. Remember when the internet came out, if you wanted to find the website, the website, you needed to know the what? The domain name. And the domain name was the IP address to that website on the big wild world of web. Tokenization is nothing but an address pointing towards the contract that's tied to that asset. So if you buy the tokens, that represent that contract, that asset, you own that asset or a part of it. That is how real estate in Dubai is gonna be for the first time for sale to a bus driver in Detroit because he can go on the, let's put the web, find Dubai real estate and say, hey, I wonder if they have a tokenization uh, asset ownership. And look, oh, yes, it is. And it's an increment of a thousand dollars and I buy X percentage of this real estate property. Okay, let me take my phone and scan it on the QR code and then it pops up and it's like, you can buy X amount of contracts. And then when you do, it comes over to you, almost like if you would an NFT and you hold it in your cold wallet, but now you hold the token that's tied to that contract that's tied to that asset. You understand? All the token does is on the big blockchain, it points you towards that contract tied to that asset. No one's going to take, you know, 5,000 barrels of oil and put it on the web or the metaverse. No, but they're going to put the token that says, hey, 
we represent this. So if you want to own a piece of this, you buy us. Tokenization is what's going to make people beyond rich because here's the unique thing about tokenization. It's two parts. One, when you put X amount of XRP in a tokenized contract, those XRP are frozen in time with that asset at contract, that smart contract. At the same time, when that contract, that tokenized action is moving around, money is going the other direction on that, on that ledger using those tokens. So you have to understand it creates a dual source. One, it, it, it sucks up liquidity, creating a higher price for the tokens. And at the same time, it moves money around because how are you going to pay for this? Exactly. So at the end of the day, tokenization is going to create a situation where um, look at Elon. <laughs> What's up, Elon? I'm not going to do a message to Elon yet. But if Elon wanted to compete against Amazon, well, how does X, the, the formerly known as Twitter, how do they source all those new products that are coming out? They just tokens. Just like when you go to Amazon and you go, you want to buy, let's say, for example, a new iPad, you put iPad and it pops up because it's sourced to iPads. But behind the scenes, how does Amazon source to different vendors all around the world? Do you understand? Tokenization is going to be used for supply chain management, uh, moving securities, uh, commodities trading. I mean, everything. Eventually, your car insurance is going to be tokenized. That, that contract with you and that car, DMV is going, to, is going to do all deeds and titles that way. It's just tokenization is the future. Back in the old days... People used to keep inventory ledgers on paper. Then it moved over to new supply chain management. Then it moved into ERP workflow. And now that old stuff is being replaced by what? Say it with me, tokenization. Because once you know the token address, it points you into that specific item, asset, security, whatever you want to do, smart contract. That's why XRP, that's why XRP and XLM, because now they do both have smart contract features, are coming after Ethereum's uh, bread and butter, because that's what Ethereum does. They do they that that's what XDC is, and XRP and XLM are coming after that market. So now you understand when somebody says tokenization of assets, now you can turn around and go, yeah, it's nothing but a web address for you know real world assets on the blockchain. What do you mean? Simple, a pallet of gold is sitting in Kenya, now has a token attached to it. You know the address of that token, because you know if you're shopping for that, you'll find out the address of that token. You can buy those tokens and it goes directly to that smart contract and now you have it. It's only, it only takes you in that direction. That's all the tokenization is. But here's the incredible thing. You cannot falsify that token. You cannot have two tokens. You cannot sell that pallet of gold seven times over like the stock market synthetics because on the ledger it fact checks that con smart contract across all the computers on the the blockchain that's why tokenization of assets security stocks real estate whatever it may be the reason why that's incredible is because you cannot have any conflict of multiple contracts on one asset it cuts down the fraud that right now we see in the U.S. stock market. You understand? You won't. What do you mean 20 people own the same home I bought? That doesn't exist because on the ledger, you can see who owns those tokens. That, that is the beauty and the future wealth of XRP, XLM, XDC, and the blockchain. And HBAR as well.